Hello, I'm Bill Bright. Ron Jensen and I invite you to join with us in uplifting and exalting the magnificent name of our risen Savior. Let us begin by echoing the words of the psalmist who writes, I will praise the Lord no matter what happens. I will constantly speak of his glories and grace. Let us praise the Lord together and exalt his wonderful name. Exalted. He is exalted, the King is exalted on high. Again, He is exalted. He is exalted, the King is exalted on high. I will praise Him. He is exalted forever, exalted, and I will praise His name. Wonder. Consider all the worlds thy hands have made. I see the stars. I see the stars. I hear the rolling thunder. Thy power throughout the universe displayed. Then sings my soul, then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior. Is the great, powerful, exalted, awesome ruler of the universe. He deserves and he desires our praise and our worship. So as we reflect on his greatness and his power during this time together, will you let him know that you love him, that you adore him with your lips, your mind, and your heart. And let there be glory, honor, and praises. Join us.
Make it your prayer. Let there be. Because he's so holy. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. God is holy and he's majestic and he's powerful. In fact, he's amazing. He's marvelous. He's miraculous. One songwriter says he's more wonderful than my mind can conceive. Join us as we sing that back to him. He's more wonderful. For he's more wonderful than my mind can conceive. He's more wonderful than my heart can believe. He goes beyond my highest hopes and fondest dreams. He's everything that my soul ever longed for. Everything he promised. So much more, more than amazing, more than marvelous, more than miraculous, could ever be. He's more than wonderful. That's what Jesus is to me. Now let's personalize it. You are more wonderful.
Is Jesus that to you? Do you know his wonder? Do you know his amazing power? God wants you to know that. He wants all of us to know it. In fact, when Jesus ascended into heaven, the Father sent the Holy Spirit to teach and empower all of us so we could know the fullness of God. Now, as we continue in praise, ask the Father this. Do I know your fullness, your power, your presence? Join us as we sing, Jesus, you are the radiance of the Father's glory. Son, you are the, son, the appointed heir, the appointed heir through whom all things are made. to be praised. For you're worthy to be praised. And I praise you. And I praise you. Lord, you're worthy to bow down to. Lord, you're worthy to bow down to. And I bow down to and you. And I bow down to you. Lord, you're worthy to be worshipped. Lord, you're worthy And I worship you. And I worship you. I praise you. I praise you. I bow down. I, bow down to I worship you. I worship you. We know that God's worthy to be praised and worthy to be bowed down to and worthy to be worshiped. But how are you doing? Do you respond in praise and do you respond by bowing down? Do you respond by worshiping? If you're like me, sometimes you do and sometimes you don't. As you reflect on the words to the second verse, can you make it your prayer right now? Lord, you're worthy to be honored and I honor you. You're worthy to believe in and I believe in you. Lord, you're worthy to be trusted and I trust you. I honor you, I believe in you. I put my trust in you right now. Put your trust in him for something. Whatever's on your heart, put your trust in him. And Lord, you're worthy to be loved. Lord, you're worthy to be loved. And I love you. 
Lord, you're worthy of my life. Lord, you're worthy of my life. I give my life to you. I give my life to you. Lord, you're worthy, oh, so worthy. Lord, you're worthy, oh, so worthy. I give my all for you. I give my all for you. I love you. I live for you. I give my all for you. And face to face. Lord, let me know you. Face to face. Lord, let me see you. Lord, let me see you in this place of quiet communion. Lord, let me know you. the Lord face to face yourself I don't mean do you know him just as your savior that's the beginning place but I mean do you know him in an intimate and a personal way perhaps you're like me I lived for seven years as a Christian before I even began to understand and experience God's fullness in his Holy Spirit you can know the same you really can you simply need to desire God's fullness and confess your sins to him and yield your life to him and then ask by faith as a little child to be filled with the Holy Spirit. And as we sing these next few songs, why don't you ask yourself the question, do I know God's Spirit in a full way? Do I live with the supernatural power of the risen Christ within me? Do I have an intimate and experiential relationship with the God of the universe? now as we sing this next song, make it your prayer. Speak, Lord. I want to hear your voice. Speak, Lord. I want to hear your voice. Speak, Lord. Speak, Lord. I want to know your choice. I want to know your choice. Nothing else matters. Nothing else matters, but what you have to say. But what you have to say. Speak, Lord. Speak, Lord. And I'll obey. And I'll obey. Again, make that your prayer. Speak, Lord. Speak, Lord. I want to hear your voice. Speak, Lord. I want to know. Nothing else matters but what you have to say. Speak, Lord, and I'll obey. Again, speak, Lord. Speak, Lord, I want to Have to say, speak, Lord, and I'll obey. 
You know, if you have an eager desire as reflected in that previous song and you're willing to admit to the Lord any areas of sin in your life, then you're well along the way to allowing God's Spirit to work in and through you. Make this your prayer as we sing the great O hymn, Search Me, O God. Search me, O God. And know my heart today. Savior. Try me, O Savior. Know my thoughts, I pray. Know my thoughts, I pray. See if there be some wicked way See in me. From every sin. Cleanse me from every sin. And set me free. And set me free. That's a great song, isn't it? It has some tremendous words in it. Search me, O God, and know my heart today. Try me, test me, and know my thoughts, I pray. See if there be some wicked way in me. Cleanse me from every sin and set me free. Right now, can you just reflect for a moment as you pray that same prayer? Lord, show me if there's anything in my life that would inhibit the free flowing of your spirit in me. Lord, right now I give it to you. I confess it is wrong and I thank you for forgiving me for that very sin. Take a few moments and pray to the Lord along those lines. invite you right where you are, whether you're driving in your car or sitting at your home or at your place of work, wherever you might be, alone or with a group, to take a few moments now and silently in your own heart to pray a prayer similar to the one I prayed many years ago and pray daily. And that's a prayer to be filled with the Spirit. Just join me. Father, I want to thank you that my sins are forgiven. And as far as I know, there's nothing in my life right now that inhibits your work in me. And I want to thank you that you have commanded in your word that I'm to be filled and empowered by your spirit. Thank you that you want to live your life and will in and through me. And right now, as a little child, I ask you to fill me by your spirit. Empower me. Rule over me. Give me your thoughts. Give me your heart. Give me your words. Give me your actions. Live through me. And Lord, right now, I thank you for filling me by your Holy Spirit. Amen. That's it. That's really it. That's what you need to do to be filled with the Spirit is simply yield your life to the Lord, confess your sin, and then ask Him right at that moment to fill you. And if you do, you'll be filled. And then you can go throughout the day simply giving thanks that God's going to work in and through you with great power. Join us now as we reflect on that simply by singing the beautiful song, Give Thanks. Give thanks with a grateful Give thanks to the Holy One. Give thanks because He's given Jesus Christ is Son. Give thanks. Give thanks with a grateful heart. Give thanks. Give thanks to the Holy One. Give thanks. Give thanks because He's given Jesus Christ.
presence of the Spirit of God, we begin to enjoy the intimacy of that relationship moment by moment. Think of it, living consistently in His presence. As we sing this song again, reflect on that great truth, into your presence. Into your presence. Into your presence. Into your presence. In adoration. In to worship your greatness with songs of giving, praises transcending into your presence. And when we live in the presence of the Lord, we enjoy it all. His comfort, His peace, His joy. In your presence, there is comfort. In your presence, there is comfort. In your presence, When we seek to know your heart, when we seek to know your heart, we will find such blessed assurance. We will find such blessed assurance in your holy presence, Lord. In your holy presence, Lord. And again, in your presence, there is comfort. For the presence of the Lord, the Holy One is here. Be still for the presence of the Lord, the Holy One is here. Come bow before Him now. Come bow before Him now. With reverence and fear. With reverence and fear. In Him no sin is found. Ground. We stand on holy ground. Be still. Be still for the presence of the Lord. The Holy One is here. The Holy One is here. And again. Be still for the presence of the Lord. in his spirit and as we live in this presence throughout the day we're motivated to yield all to him 
And then the Spirit of the Lord produces its fruit. The book of Galatians we read, But I say to you, walk by the Spirit, and you will not carry out the desires of the flesh. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. That's what God wants to produce in us. But the key is that we stay yielded to Him. That we say, Lord, reign in me. As we sing this new song back to the Lord, make it your prayer. Reign in me. Sovereign Lord, reign in me. Captivate my heart. Captivate my heart. Let your kingdom come. Let your kingdom come. Establish there your throne. Establish there your throne. Let your will be done. Let your will be done. Reign in me. Reign in me. Sovereign Lord, reign. the Lord to reign in my life through the Spirit. He's eager to give me all the fruit, peace and hope and love. Peace give I to thee. Peace give I to thee. Peace give I to thee. Not as the world gives. Not as the world gives. Give I to thee. Hope give I to thee. Hope give I to thee. Hope give I to thee. Not as the world gives. Not as the world gives. Give I to thee. Love give I to thee. Love give I to thee. Love give I to thee. Not as the world gives, give I to thee. Love give I to thee. And we experience this peace and hope and love because the Holy Spirit works in our midst. But beyond that, Jesus Christ right now is at the right hand of the Father daily interceding for us, for He prays for us. He prays for me. He prays for me. Jesus intercedes for me. Jesus intercedes for me. When my heart would despair, I know that he cares. I know that he cares. For Jesus prays for me. For Jesus prays for me. He prays for me. Prays for me. Jesus intercedes for me. Intercedes for me. When my heart would despair. Jesus prays for me. He 
loves me. One songwriter penned it this way: "What's more valuable than silver? What's more precious than pure gold? What's the treasure worth the seeking? What's the wonder to behold? It's your love. It's your perfect love, the love of God. Join us as we reflect on that great truth. What's more valuable? What's more valuable than silver? What's more precious? What's more precious than pure gold?" What's the treasure? What's the treasure worth the seeking? What's the wonder to behold? What's the wonder to behold? It's your love. It's your love. It's your perfect love from above. It's your perfect love. It's the gold that all desire. It's the prize. It's the prize that can't be won. It's the gift. It's the gift that's given free. It's the life. It's the life of God's own Son. It's your love. It's your perfect love from above. It's your perfect. Spirit to begin to produce its fruit in my life, that fruit of love, and peace, and joy that we just sang about. I begin to have a tremendous appreciation of God's love, and I begin to have a, a sense of reality of God's presence in my life, and that makes me want to share it. I start to realize a little bit what it means to be without that intimate relationship with the God of the universe. And as God's love begins to work in my life and grows out to a love toward others, I begin to sense the hurt of people who've never known the God of the universe, and I tend to be compelled to want to share my faith, particularly to those who've never heard. For how will they know unless we tell them? How will they know unless we tell them? How will they feel? 
is love that's waiting. Lord, I want to go so that they can know those who call upon the Lord will be saved. And I love to tell the story. Tell the story. Will be my theme in glory. To tell the old old story of Jesus and His love. I love to tell the story. Tis pleasant to repeat. What seems each time I tell it, more wonderfully sweet. I love to tell the story, for some have never heard the message of salvation from God's own holy word. I love to tell the story. I love to tell the story. Twill be my theme in glory. To tell the old, old story of Jesus and his love. As you walk around this week, You'll run into all sorts of people. Some will seem to be happy. Some will seem to be depressed. Some will seem to be bored. Some will seem to be misdirected in their lives. But will you remember this, that without Christ, all miss the ultimate joy that God has for each one of us. They miss the ultimate peace. They miss the ultimate love. And without Christ, we all face a prospect of eternal separation from God. Will you experience anew today and this week the empowerment of God's Holy Spirit? And will you reach out with boldness and with love to communicate that Christ Jesus is Lord of all creation to those individuals for people desperately need the Lord. Remember that. People need the Lord. People need the Lord. People need the Lord. People need the Lord. At the end of broken dreams. At the end of broken dreams. He's the open door. He's the open door. People need the Lord. People need the Lord. People need the Lord. When will we realize? Again, people need the Lord. People need the Lord. People need the Lord. At the end of broken dreams, He's the open door. People need the Lord. Who do you know like that? People need the Lord. Neighbor, a family member. When will we realize people need the Lord? Will you remember that today? And in this newfound filling of the Spirit and the resurrected power of Christ, will you reach out to boldly and lovingly teach others for people need the Lord? People need the Lord. People need the Lord. People need the Lord. People 
the Holy Spirit of God by faith, we are empowered to tell others the good news of Jesus Christ. It is the purpose of Campus Crusade for Christ to help fulfill the great commission of our Lord found in the 28th chapter of the Gospel according to Matthew. His words to us are, I have been given all authority in heaven and earth. Therefore, go and make disciples in all the nations baptizing them into the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And then teach these new disciples to obey all the commands I've given you. And be sure of this, that I am with you always, even to the end of the world. The movement of Campus Crusade for Christ exists to expose people to the most joyful news ever announced win them to faith in Jesus Christ and help them mature in a vital fellowship with him. We then train them to communicate the gospel and send them out to influence others for Christ. Through the power of the Holy Spirit, we share in the tremendous privilege of proclaiming the gospel of our risen Lord Jesus Christ.